Alright guys, finally, making the Adobe After Effects tutorial. Alright, so, um, after you saved it, I think you should be able to save it at, as AEC, I think. Because when you go into Cinema 4D, like, hold on, let me look at this. <clears throat> just go back, just in case. If you don't have the AEC, I'll show you how to get it right now. Alright, so, if you don't have this file, this .aes file, go on here and do save and do compositing project file and check mark everything and do after effects and do save project file after you rendered everything and then you guys should have that <clears throat> all right so after you guys have that just drag it in here and boom and then open it and click, double click on the composition you should have lights and stuff just delete all those lights you don't need them and then you have all you have this whole entire thing with everything like that boom it's amazing all right um Okay, so next thing what you guys are going to do is pick your song. So this will be a different this will be a different one than the original one, the the first one that I made. So um, just pick any kind of song. I'm gonna go pick a song and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So after you guys picked your song, I'm gonna <clears throat> include a um a file where you can get my sync. Which all you will have to do is just right after you get it, you're gonna open it. It's gonna be right here. You're gonna double click this right here and just copy and paste it, control C into here. And right after you copy it, do transform fit to comp so it fits it. And then take your song and make sure it's like right on. Made a, make a, take this marker, you should have a marker and put it where the where it drops. If you don't know how to make markers, just shift one. If you wanna make like shift two, then just like a number two, just do shift two and there's, there's the marker. And the right one it drops, so like right here, I guess. So take that marker. Oh, okay. Like right here, <clears throat> take that marker, and then you gotta listen to the song. So it's like right here. I think that should be the first marker right there. So hold on, delete these markers. <clears throat> Alright. So right after you have done that, you're gonna have you're gonna open up, you're gonna open up the radio sync. Go and transform, shift and click and open both of these up. So it's the S shake plus the transform. And the transform is just like the beat, like the beat thingy, like you see this, like it goes like that. So that's gonna be that, and then this the shake is just gonna be this shake. So we're gonna have to keyframe this. Hold on. Let's uh Okay. So go, if you want a keyframe, go into here and do preview, work area, and right when you click it, you're going to look at your number pad where the star is on the number pad on the right of your keyboard, and you, every time you're going to hear the beat, like, like boom, then you're going to, um, like a boom, that was so weird. Well, you're just going to press the star, and then you're going to try to sync it later. All right, so... There we go. I got these right here, baby. <clears throat> so you're gonna go the first one, go on the first one, like that, and you're gonna just Control C, and first move the first one to where it's at. There we go. Control C and then Control V. Hold on. All right. Control. Oh, deleted marker. Okay. Go to marker time and so you be able to control. What the. All right, there we go. All right, so we're just gonna have to copy them one by one, and then okay, <laughs> and then copy them again. This one and this one. Okay, wait, what the heck is wrong with this? What? Alright, there we go. Copy them um, <clears throat> and just take every single one of them and just copy them on your markers. Like that. Control C, Control V every time. 
and go on this one, control C, control V, control C, control V, and that one's good, and then move this one, just move it, like that, and these, the last one is the ending one, so just put it at the end, like right here, and then you're just gonna do this throughout the whole entire thing. Alright, so we're gonna check how that looks, if it's perfectly synced. Alright, I guess that's good enough. It's not the best, but just for the sake of the tutorial, tutorial just to do it faster. We're just gonna do this, I guess. Alright, <clears throat> so yeah, that's going to be the sinking part, and now we're going to also have to take the, um, whatchamacallit, the freaking, god damn it, I don't remember what it was called, oh yeah, optical, the optics compensation, that's what we're going to have to take, so take the optic, wait, make a new adjustment layer, new, like this, adjustment layer, there we go, and then take the optics compensation, put it on the adjustment layer, oh, okay, and then what you're going to do all right guys so the optics compensation you're going to um click on reverse wait uh i'm going to open this up go on the marker your first one and your first keyframe go back to back one and do zero and wait hold on, actually go up here do reverse lens distort have that check marked and vertical <clears throat> so then you're gonna keyframe that right here boom to zero and then move up one keyframe and change it to 180 All right. and then right there and then move 10 keyframes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then do zero and then you guys could see what this looks like If you want to make it look better, just um, you can play around with it. Like put it like this a little bit. Like that, I guess. Maybe that'll look better. All right, just for the sake of the tutorial, we're gonna leave it like that. You guys can play around with it to make it look better. But just for the tutorial. All right, so now we we are going to get a um. We're going to get a background. <clears throat> so, for the background, um, for the background. So let's make a new solid, black solid, and put it on the bottom. Make another solid and put it on the bottom also. And I'm gonna go grab the settings for the background because I I don't exactly remember it. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm just. I decided that I'm also going to include the background just for so it's faster for you guys, in the um. In the also the radio sync where you're gonna download it. Also, it's also gonna be in here. It'll all be in the description. <laughs> It'll all be in the description. So yeah, just delete these black solids and just paste it in here. Just drag it all down. And make sure that this one goes on the bottom. This one goes on there, and this one goes on there. That's the order. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm gonna rename it so it's easier for you guys. It's gonna be one, two, three, four. So that's how it's gonna go. So it's one, two, three, four. All right. So yeah. So that's good. We're good. We have the background right there. Perfect. Let's gonna let's render this right now. All 
Alright guys, so right after the render let's see this works. Alright, so you can see there's shockwaves there also. So I think it's this one that had the shockwave. Yeah, right here. This one also has change color. You can delete the change colors if you guys don't want. Oh, never mind, you need those change colors. So if you want, you can change the color to whatever you want here for the shockwave. If you really want the shockwave, you don't really need to use it. But go on base form and see there's like keyframes here. And it's already perfectly keyframed. So I'm gonna delete this one because I don't need that one. <coughs> and yeah. So if you wanna get um, black bars, do new, solid, and drag it on top of everything. And do CC jaws <coughs> and drag it on that black solid. And then change it to think it's competition like that and then the height change the height to zero and completion completion like this much I guess 70 80 wait 80% I think 80% will be perfect yeah 80% so then that looks like that and my phone's going off All right And this render is going to take forever. Never mind. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like. Alright, so yeah, if you guys don't want that background thing, you guys could just remove it. It was number three, I think. No, it was number two. Yeah, it was number two. So if you guys don't want it, then you can just remove it. It was number two. And yeah, so now you're going to need a color correction. Do new adjustment layer. And do effects. Re Red Giant Magic Bullet looks. So these um, plugins, I'm going to link them. I'm, I'm going to write them all down in the description if you guys need them. And there's a lot of YouTube videos how to get them. So what you would need was, I think, Trap Code. <clears throat> trap code you're gonna need um sapphire plugin and also magic bullet looks i'm gonna um write them all down in the description there's a lot of videos how to get them for free and stuff and also on magic bullet looks when you're gonna do it um full change it to full and do edit <clears throat> okay and oh my god i can't change okay there we go and my phone's going off again my home phone and I'm gonna include some of these. I've got it from other people, these CCs. I've got them from other people, so um, I'm gonna include them also. Um, I guess I'm just gonna pick this one, Sexy CC. And yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick this one for the CC, so it looks like that. And then, I think that is what, that is it, I think. If you guys wanna change the color of something, then do new, I think it was, yeah, adjustment layer. And then do effect, and do color correction, and do change to color from whatever color you want. So let's just do blue. And let's, do, let's change it to red, right here, boom. And do, I think it was change by, oh my god. Change by hue and saturation, I think. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hue and saturation. Hue, and then I don't know, like, you can just play around with this. That's how I usually change the color, though. But I have a really weird color correction, so it won't really work right now. But yeah, guys, that's like most mostly it. I'm gonna show you guys this, the finishing. Oh, wait, one more thing. You need, um, new solid for the fade. And <clears throat> change the. Go and transform, go to opacity, and opacity do 100 keyframe it, and go to zero and have a keyframe, and then change, get the 100 right here, drag it and put it right, here, right, here, right there, and then also take it and put it right here, change it around so it fades out, and then with the song. What you do is you do negative 48, that's the lowest one. 
keyframe and zero and keyframe it like this and copy it and put it in the end and change this one to like that and then boom and that's and that's how you guys do it that's how I make most of my intros and yeah so let me just show you how this looks like real quick And we guys, when will you guys be editing? Oh my god! And when, and when you guys will be editing videos, <clears throat> make sure to change the quality to third or quarter, unless you have like an amazing computer, then do full or half, like just to make it like worse the quality so it renders out here faster. Like even though it's on third, it's still taking long. But yeah, let me just show you what this looks like. Um, <laughs> Alright, yeah, and then here, it just ends like that. I'm gonna render the whole thing. Show you guys one more time. And yeah, guys. That's gonna be the sync tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. And all the likes on the first tutorial. Oh my god, the Cinema 4D tutorial. That was amazing, guys. You guys are awesome. And I'm so sorry it took me forever. Like, I had so much problems with my computer, with my internet. I was just so dumb. So yeah, guys. Um... Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll show you guys one more time here. And again, again, everything will be included in the description. The plugins, the sync, the background, like almost everything will be in the description. You guys can all download it for free this time, not for money like last time. So yeah guys, here it is. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching.